Hello, welcome back to Azales TV and part 21 of our wooden clock build. This has been running for almost a week on just battery power. It stopped now of course, but still a week, almost a week, that's brilliant. No hands though, let's make some hands. These are the hands I've previously been using in the clock. They are 3 eighths inch, quarter inch, so I think plywood. Coloured them with a sharp marker. Aren't they pretty? But I'm going to be replacing these with hands made from Purple Heart. Now this wood is incredibly difficult to cut. I'm, I in fact spent several hours, I kid you not, cutting these from a pen blank like this. I've got a centre piece as well which is to one side which I'll use for a later project. But after that I don't think I'll be using Purple Heart for anything until I get a proper power tool. Because I had to cut this with a handsaw and it took a long time. So I've got both side pieces from one blank. Now the design I'm going to be using is this. Now I drew this design up quite a while ago when I had measurements for a longer pen blank. So this won't quite fit the length. If I bring this down a bit. So my first job will be scaling this down to the length of these. That's the minute hand and that's the hour hand. Printing them off. I'll redesign them on the computer. And then marking out holes for where the arbors are going to go, where the collars for the arbors rather are going to go. And be there and there. And these cutouts here, and also the centre portions here. So this will be roughly what it looks like. So I've coloured it in this terrible pink Sharpie. This is as close as I could get to this colour. But there you go. I'll mark all that onto here, then start cutting some bits out. But I think most of this episode will be marking the stuff out. I'll say myself, I think I'll get cut out because it's very, very, very tough. But we'll see onwards and upwards. We are back and here we are. So I've marked out the lengths I want based on what looks right, based on ratios and stuff of hand length. Because I looked online and there's no set rule for how long the, length the hands have to be. I tried the golden, the golden ratio, but that looks too off. It's like there or something, you know. So I did it based on the ratio of how long these were, the original hands. So the minute hand's gonna be that long. Our hand is going to be, there's a cut off line there. So if I hide this bit, it's going to be that long. And I've marked off these center points where they're going to pivot round. So, where are we? They actually catch the light quite well. So they'll be overlapping like that. And the minute hand and that'll be the hour hand and I've marked off the parts on here so we've got the pivot points that's where I'm going to drill out for the arbors there and there the bottom bits which will be the bottom bits there and then the radius the diameter even for these circles up here and this is where the ends of the hands are going to be so first job is going to be marking off well I've marked off already it's going to be cutting off the excess it's difficult to see that see the lines in this dark wood you've got to catch the light just right but I made a mark there shows up well on the camera I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that off there I'm going to drill both bits here and test how they look when I overlap them. Let's go. Over to be back outside again. 
I've missed the outdoors, the sun, the sound of the wind, the traffic. The sound of the hedge trimmer. Oh boy. And there'll probably be noises of aeroplanes later too. Because it's a lovely sunny day, so everybody's out flying. Oh dear. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. Get a tone change. Means we're almost through. Now that is smooth as you like. Because it's taken so long to get through, the blade has moved very, very, very slowly through the work. So you don't get the saw marks where it's wavered because they're incredibly close together. Now I'm gonna use this tiny drill to drill starter holes for now and I'll come back and do the actual holes at a later date when I've got the rest of the design sketched onto this. Because this is a very dense wood and I will likely use a drill press to drill the actual holes. I might even scroll saw them out. I don't know yet. We'll jump off that bridge when we come to it. Here we go, nice and drilled. That was super tough. That's gonna go on there like that. So next job will be marking out the circles for here, drawing on the general design, working out the drill points, for putting a scroll saw in to drill out the centre bit, just scroll saw out rather the centre bit for the hands. Lots and lots of fun. Let's go back indoors and all of that. It's far too noisy out here. It's too much nature. We are back, and I've got everything marked out nice. It's really faint, even on the camera, I can just about see the lines. What I'm going to do next is scribe over it with a sharp point. Probably something like this. So these lines on the edge here, I'll scribe from there to there, and do the circles there. But you can see there's a pivot point. So everything will sit together like this. So the hands will be this proportion. Which should be good. And I marked out the ring here. So I've got the inner diameter and the outer diameter. So let's start scrubbing some lines and then I'll, I'll start sanding the backs of these and then I can start cutting some bits out all right let's get going <laughs> okay so I decided I couldn't see those pencil markings on the wood I tried to go back over it with pen and that sort of worked but it wouldn't properly stick to the areas of the wood that had the pencil marks on and the pencil marks are still showing up and reflecting and there's confusing to look at so I've sanded the, the surface completely flat. I'll try to get it as smooth as I could. I've sanded down to 400 grits with emery paper. And I've used a new blade to scrape the surface to try to get it as smooth as possible. I'm gonna make up some paper templates on the computer, print them out, and then glue them to the surface, which I think would be better. Which is what I wanted to do before, and I thought, no, I'll do it this way, because it's much easier. Famous last words. Here we go. Got a nice new template printed out. I've coloured it in so that when I cut it out, I know what's the waste material and what's not, because otherwise I'll get confused. The lines, the lines, the holes even. I've drilled for the pivot points for the collars, the golden arbors. They're slightly misaligned, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, worst comes to the worst, I can flip it round and 
lead through that hole because this hole is going to be cut out with the, um, the scroll saw on my jeweler saw so I should say that that's not lining up there well, that might be in that one looking at it so either way I can drill a new hole for the pivot point and still get away with it and this is this one and the same for this the holes don't quite line up but that doesn't matter if I could spin it around then it'll be in the waste section here right let's cut this out glue them onto here I'm going to use wood glue, I'm not going to use a glue stick because I want this to stick on properly and I'm taking off the top surface of this anyway to finish it so it won't matter if it's glued down properly and then I can see if I can cut it out this episode if not I might have to wait for next week we shall see that was fun now let's get gluing aren't they pretty? <laughs> God, I hope they work out. I can cut it without anything snapping or destroying itself. Here we are, all glued up and ready. Fantastic. Glue still got to dry, but when that's done, I can start cutting this out. But that'll be next week now because I'm quite out of time this week. I've had a lot on. Got hospital appointments and everything else, which is a lot of fun. So I'm going to put this video together, upload it, and. That's me done for this week. So if you like this video and want to see more, get subscribed so no one upload, hit that notification button, give it a big thumbs up if you like what you saw, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions, and until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.